Anyway, starting in 3, 2, 1, 0. 0.5, 0. Potato. 0.25. Potato. Go. Um, so, last we left off, last we had, last we left off, um, <laughs> last we left off, you guys had uh, massacred a whole bunch of soldiers, and Mercy killed Captain Andros, and stolen a ship with Livius, uh, with a bunch of dwarves on it, uh, and are currently pulling into the Bay of Asaria. Um, before you lies a massive white, um, or massive harbor, many, many ships, um, and you can see in the distance, uh, across the harbor, you can see a city with, um, white sandstone buildings, um, that are not represented at all by this map, so you're going to go to this reason. Um. Oh, it's pizza. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good start. No one has time out, though. I mean, unless you count Tim going to pizza. This time out, which, you know, maybe. It's a biological time out. Uh, so we're gonna need to decide what to do with Dwarf General. Probably before we get off the ship. I told you you guys should kill him. I mean, we still can. Like, that is an option. <laughs> Just leave his body on the ship in his quarters somewhere, tell the dwarves not to disturb him. Because he's sleeping or something, and then leave. Before they notice anything's wrong. <laughs> that might be workable. Yeah. I mean, it'll be a Maybe little not. suspicious that his bodyguards are leaving him alone, but... Yeah, real suspicious. We could have, uh, we could have, like, Nick and Tim stay behind and then sneak out a window mm. <laughs> and meet us on shore that way. Yeah, honestly, the way I um, see this is, like, I've built a world, but, like, the lot of the storyline for this episode is going to be built around what you guys decide to do here. Okay. Um, because anytime I try to build a storyline, it feels like I'm forcing you guys into stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to roll with the punches and see how that works. I mean, I, I am not at all opposed to taking obvious plot hooks, so. Yeah. Um. Yes. Sorry about that. You should be. Um, okay, so we were discussing what to do with uh, Dorv in general before we get off the ship here. Um, actually, let's let's let Stetson finish his instruction first. That'd probably be better. Um, yeah. So you guys are yeah um, pulling into the the Great Harbor of Thessaria. Um, the 
uh, yeah, so this is this is sort of like a multicultural center of uh, Grand Loria. Um, mo it's not really one of the. It's sort of become like the second largest city because it was the location where the original pact was signed. Um, but it's not really like it doesn't fall under the purview of any of the five uh, major races, um, and so it's sort of a free neutral. state, as a neutral state, as it were. Okay. Um, yeah, it's still under the it still falls under the the control of the Council of Grand Loria, um, but it's not like a yeah, it's not like you have to worry about a specific like person being in charge. Um, yeah, as you pull up, you see, like, great white, white sandstone buildings, um, spiring minarets, um, yeah, and you're starting to pull into the harbor now, you look like you're gonna dock pretty soon. Okay, um, so yeah, back to the question of what to do with the general, um. Well, he's still in the coma, right? Uh, no, we interrogated no. him earlier. Oh, right. Yeah. That's right. So he's awake. Uh, we have been basically keeping him prisoner. Um, so you were voting to kill him. Uh, I think that'd probably be also my vote because he's really just too dangerous to leave alive, even if we manage to get off without him alerting anyone. Get him. I'm not convinced killing him because he still has the uh, that collar. That's yeah, the collar I mean, unless we unless we want to like drag him around with us, which I think is just going to come back to bite us long term. Well, the collar works by inflicting pain, right? Yeah, so, that's... so he can still revolt against it. He can revolt against it. He'd just be in pain afterwards. Right? Is that is that how it works? DM. Pardon me. The the collar that we put on the general uh, that works by inflicting pain, right? It's just like a shock yes. collar, basically. Yeah. So. Yeah, it inflicts immense pain. It does not um, enforce obedience. Necessarily. So if we have if we have a general wandering around with us who's occasionally just screaming in pain, that's. Uh, we say it's Tourette's. <laughs> I, I somehow doubt there. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Let's get his vote. I meant like, are we going to stay in this city? <laughs> oh, that's also a good question. I think our first step should be to get off the ship, make sure we're away safely, and then go to like a tavern or something to have a beer. Yeah, like yeah. It. Well, and plan our next steps. Oh. Um, I I think we're coming into harbor here, so I think we should make a decision regarding the general now. Uh, get off the ship, and then uh, meet up at a bar or something. I think that'd be uh the most currently prudent course of action. So you guys are considering splitting up? Always. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you guys are gonna make me no. go between channels. I don't I don't think so. Um okay, so first things first. Need to come to a decision with the general here. Yeah, yeah let me know, just poke me when you guys are <laughs> sure what you're gonna do. Well, Alaris, you think? What do you think we should? If, yeah, so like I'm, I'm open to keeping him alive, but we need a plan for how we're going to control him and make sure that he doesn't like bring the I army agree. down on us as we're in the city. If we keep him alive, we cannot stay in the city. That's uh, that's pretty much granted because he'll have the army out and searching for us pretty quickly. Yeah. And probably in civilization, Grand Lorian civilization. Maybe we can get out far enough away. Back He's to a the dwarf, general, right? right? 
Because what... I can't remember. What did we learn from him exactly? Did we learn anything? That he's a dick. Yeah, not uh, a lot particularly useful. Um, we know that... Um, if I recall correctly, we know that... Uh, damn, I should have taken notes on this. <laughs> um, what are you guys questioning? What the general knows? Yeah, well, I can't remember what he told us. Um, so, like, basically... Like, the... The council is being influenced by, uh, at the very least, uh, some external force that may or may not include my brother. Oh, right. You're one of them. One of them aliens. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys know that, that your brother is acting in some fashion for the council. Um, you can have your own theory, like, you, your own theories as to whether or not he's, like, okay. they're being influenced, but, like, at this point, you're not sure. Yeah, so, uh, the, but the council ordered the, uh, the destruction of the colony we were at, basically, right? Yes. Right, yeah. yeah, okay. So, if we want to continue along that line, we need to somehow get more information regarding that. I'm not sure where best to go for that, but um, the general that we have with us is not going to be much more use there. Okay, so I'm going to say this. Does anyone have any way to um, keep the general from mobilizing the army to come after us without killing him? We have a large enough sack that we can knock him out and put him... I can just carry him around on my back. You're currently planning on carrying a general... For one of the Council of Glen Grand Loria around on your back for the entirety of the rest of your campaign. <laughs> yes, this is a possibility. I would like you to think very critically about it, though. You could conduct it. Well, I'm not thinking that's right for me. I'm thinking short term solution to get us off the damn boat. <laughs> well, I mean, what are we going to do with him eventually? Because he knows that. You know, he knows that we you know uh, this, may have killed a few people. Well. Um, okay, well, here's the only alternative plan I can think of would be to basically uh, knock him out and try and get out of the city before he wakes up uh, and head elsewhere. Uh, where that is, I don't know, but uh, presumably being Grand Lorians, we have some knowledge of the cities of this area, so we could go potentially to the capital uh, and try and get some information on the council there. That would be an option. Um, He's going to be recognized. Well, or yeah. Recognizable that wherever, be... though. Yeah, 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 that's... I'm not saying we take him with us. I'm saying we knock him out, leave him here, and try and get out before he wakes up. And can mobilize the army to come after us. Well, I don't necessarily want to be the focus of a real manhunt if I can avoid it. Yeah, I don't either, but that's basically the other option. I mean, if he's left alive and alone, we're going to have a manhunt after us. Um, so the options are basically somehow try and carry him with us without arousing suspicion, which I think is doomed to fail. Um, knock him out and leave him here and hope that we can elude a manhunt. Run really fast. Or kill him. Um preferably in a way that there aren't any witnesses. So I have my suggestion, if we kill him, we kill him, throw him out a window uh, before we pull him to port. <laughs> uh, he just float. You, could, need a, you need a way to tie him down. Yeah, Does anyone have do any that. bricks? Cement shoes? Uh, I could tie my sword and shield to his body. I don't need those anymore. Those are pretty a bunch of those way? Well, so that's the... Uh, no, the, they, they probably don't. How much do yeah, they Yeah, they probably don't. <laughs> The problem is that he's going to decompose eventually. 
and that his head and joints are going to separate and float well, to the surface. Well, yeah, it'll, by that point, though, it'll be that'll that won't happen immediately. That will take a while. It will be long. It'll take a week. Them. Yeah. How much weight do we need? Do okay, we need so we put him in a sack and weigh it down. That's a much better idea. I like that. Okay. Okay, so we have a plan. We are going to commit murder and dispose of the evidence. <laughs> How are we going to get off? Um, so I think my plan, my original plan there is probably the way to go. So most of us go out, say the general's indisposed. We leave Nick and Tim behind and they sneak out a window. So we say that they're guarding him, but they sneak off the ship by themselves. Can you do some? Athletics is not my strongest area. I mean, if we're docked, they could presumably just like climb down the side of the ship and jump to the dock or something. That's true. Uh, you're essentially in the captain's cabin, so like you're on the like the highest level of the boat, like above, like just below the deck, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they'd be able to jump off. There are windows in his cabin, right? Yep. Okay, good. He didn't see. Yep. From my oh. nautical knowledge, which is like super limited, because fucking water scares the shit out of me. Um. <laughs> It's, uh, the captain's cabin has that big wide, like, window yeah. in the back, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what yeah. kind of ship. Yeah, probably. But if it's, like, a galleon or something, that would be. Okay. Right. Does that sound like a reasonable plan for everyone involved? Or at least for most people involved? Um, yeah. Yeah. What are they gonna, are we I, just I, gonna I, assume? try and find us to ask what the hell happened to their general when we were ostensibly guarding him? Um, well, we're gonna tell them that uh, he's not to be disturbed because they're disposed. We're well, they would know who we are. are. That's yeah. Yeah. How long is... That's good point. How long are they gonna wait? <laughs> so, they're not just gonna leave him there in the cabin literally forever. I think, I think whatever we do, we just get out of Dodge as fast as we can. Yeah. I, you should we know kill that him, we Sorry can... is a massive city, so, like, it's not... It's not a small village. It's, <sighs> right. It's, yeah, but so... But if we, if we at least... I mean, we could kill I, all if, the crew, too. <laughs> <laughs> we kill him, and then... Yeah, it's not gonna work. At least give him a ruse. Give him the ruse that... Um, that was a ruse. Tim and I are guarding him. Ooh. They see us guarding, but we just use that opportunity to get out of... Alternatively, too, we could um, ask one of the dwarves in uh, to come into the cabin and then kill the captain or the general and the dwarf and say the dwarf murdered the, the general. You're going to kill Digger, Digger Doug? Doug? You're... No, not no, those not dwarves. Those. There's, the, there's the crew, too. I mean, the ship isn't just crewed by Digger Doug. They're probably not going to do that. No, no. And I, murdering I, I, I random that, people yeah. is not... Not a good course to go. Hey, we don't Why to... not? Why don't we light the ship up, ship on fire, and dispose of all evidence that way, so that no one can see? Ooh, I kind of like that idea. Yep, I like this idea. We're in port. We sound the alarm. Say the general slipped when the fire started below decks, and mm -hmm. ate through the floor, and the general fell in because he was still all tired and shit. Yep. And. Okay. Yeah. We sound the alarm and get everybody right. off the ship. And at New least plan. there's confusion of a fire where we might be able to run if that's what we have to do. Yep, yeah. I like this. New plan is to set the ship on fire that you're <laughs> <laughs> just burning everything. <laughs> to be, Step to three be is honest, set the city on fire. <laughs> this is far from the worst plan we have had. <laughs> it, even tonight, it is okay. far from the worst plan we've had. <laughs> even tonight. Okay, so we should probably make sure that the, the ship actually burns successfully, so we're going to need to... I mean, honestly, we only need the part that the general's in to burn. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I have a tinderbox. But the crew, okay. if the crew is alert, they could put out the fire before too much damage is done. We need to the avoid that. Is... Hold on, Hold I have on. to look up the the flammability of ships now. <laughs> this is not That's something a... I was planning on. Um... Well, okay, so I actually have a question about that. Because you were talking about ship types, like, is this... And we know there's 
gunpowder-ish stuff? Like, is this a, an actual Galean armed with cannons? Because if so, it's got gunpowder. Yeah, yeah no, it's no, definitely it's... a Galleon. Is it armed with cannons? Right, that, that's actually the salient point here. <laughs> is, yes. Is... yes. Yes, yes. It has, yes. has yeah. rudiments. Rudiment so, cannons. going okay. straight oh, to the magazine and lighting it is a bad idea, because <laughs> that just kills everybody. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, if we can find so, basically, start a fire like maybe half. Well, a okay, so I'm 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 reaching a little here, but if this is set up, like, like a ship of the line or a galleon of the period, there are probably stern chasers in the rear of the ship, possibly right below the captain's cabin, and they might have gunpowder next to them, and they're probably not manned since we're in port. But there could be torches or something, or lanterns. Is this um, is this a reasonable supposition, or am I putting words in, in God's mouth here? Uh, sorry. Um, I mean, like, yeah, you could potentially explode the ship if that's what you're looking into, into doing. Well, um, I'm, 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 I'm looking for something smaller than the powder magazine. Where like if, if there if there are cannons if there are stern chaser oh, cannons oh. at the back of the ship, so where there's so, like one or two barrels of gunpowder that we could light there, where it would explode and make an explosion that could conceivably kill someone, but not destroy the entire ship with everybody on it. Yeah, yeah. So the other thing that you know is that dwarves carry boomsticks, which are like small bombards or hand bombards essentially. Um, so they they would probably there would probably be smaller. Uh, smaller things of, uh, uh, there'd be probably be smaller things of gunpowder that they would be using to fill those. Okay. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's possible, like, it would be, uh, is there like a knowledge sailing in this game? I don't, I don't think there is. Knowledge doesn't seem to be divided into sections like it used to be yeah so it'd be yeah. like or a general yeah. insight check basically and you could so yeah someone make a knowledge like anyone that wants to try can make a knowledge check about like explosion explosives yeah i mean per person at your discretion too you can give people Is it uh, insight different levels on that check too yeah it'd be insight, it'd be insight. It would be what that would be. nope I thought insight was for reading people. Yeah, it could be. Um, whatever, that make it a wisdom check, whatever. I suppose it's close enough. We could make a stealth yep. check and sneak uh, around the ship so and try to find it. Taylor somehow knows about explosives. So Taylor, so Taylor I probably uh, found out about them on the last the time we were on this one. ship. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, presumably when she was sneaking around um, the ship before checking it out. <clears throat> Uh, has some knowledge of, of the build of the ship and some enough knowledge to be like, this is where we could blow a hole in this side and sink it or something like along those lines, you know? Okay. Okay, I like this plan. So the the last thing we need to figure out then. Uh, setting off explosives on a ship while we're still on it is the best plan I've come up with. <laughs> I can I can do a fuse as long as I have line of sight. Really? How can you do a, that? A fuse, huh? Yeah, with like rope. Oh, okay. Why does it have to be in line of sight? Because I need to be able to see what I'm blowing up, so I don't make sure I blow up myself. Mm -hmm. Um. So the yeah, so it, it, we need to figure out where we're all going to be during this. So presumably, none of us want to be in the captain's cabin when this happens. No. Well. Although someone does have to make sure he dies, so yeah, that's the that's the, well. So, so I mean, we can just not super happy with the whole murdering people thing. But if we're <laughs> killing him, we can just smother him first and then light the explosion and make sure he gets his body get burned. Cup, cup. I, I I'm kind of assuming they don't have the forensic science to figure out that kind of thing happened. Yeah. Well, yeah. they did have. They were able to connect. Uh, no, you're right. Okay. Yeah, that's probably our best chance. Okay, so I would say... Um, uh, pro 
probably have Chris be the one to do the smothering since he's definitely large. Yeah, large. Um, so the rest of us. I will keep an eye out from wherever we're doing nefarious things to make sure that people don't come and see us doing nefarious why don't, things. Why don't we go out and uh, buy some of the sailors a drink, like have them a party on the oh, you know, on the general? Yeah. yeah, so we can have some of us go out and do that. Man, you're you're coming up with really good ideas to reinforce a really bad idea for us. <laughs> well, what can yeah. I say? Yeah, that's actually a great idea. I like that. So have like um, everyone. So keep Nick and Tim here, uh, or not Nick and Tim, Forrest and Tim. So oh, split Forrest. the party. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Forrest yeah, so... will light the fuse. Tim will keep track, and then maybe so we have five of us, right? So. Um. So maybe have Alvex. We can either have Alvec kill the captain initially and then come with me or leave him here and then like uh, Alaris and I maybe go to the town with the sailors once we land at port. Well, okay, so are we are we trying to destroy the ship or are we trying to just... That's up to the people. The well, yeah. if we're getting all the sailors off of it, they're not going to be able to stop the fire before it gets to, like, the powder magazine. Oh, I was, so I was, if we, like, no, I was no, thinking about drink, taking the booze back here. Right, uh, I was thinking, I mean, it's, okay, a, okay. it's a ship, it's got a galley, they've got to have a rum okay, ration. Okay. Yeah, no, that yeah. makes more sense. That way we don't have to split the party either. And that way we kill some of them, too, so we don't have to Well, you guys are debating, I'm going to go grab one. Let me know, Let me what, know you what you decided by the time I come back. <laughs> uh, I think okay. We're getting closer. We're, yeah, I think we are we're making progress towards yeah, yeah. more bad decisions. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think getting them all to the galley, because then we can have then people who are drunk, active. Nobody will know who, who sets fire to. Yeah. Yes, and if we've got people, well, <laughs> if we're trying to save the ship, we don't want them too drunk. We've got people there who know what's happening that can sound the alarm. Mm -hmm. Kind of be seen heroically leading the firefighting effort. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good idea too. <laughs> to further divert suspicion. Yeah. So the the thing here too is we will not be leaving the ship if we do this, uh, because if we leave the ship, I mean, well, I mean, well, not, I mean, not leave, like right. we'll leave afterwards. We'll leave after. But we during the actual like assassination, we'll assassination. we have to stay here. Otherwise, it'll draw immediate suspicion to us if we leave, like during the. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we ask the general if he has any enemies? Any what? Enemy enemies. Who would go around and port, port. Try and point the blame at someone. Sure, sure. I think it, it might be, I mean, might be good to throw some chaff in the water, but I think it's probably safer to try and steer it towards an accidental death, because if, if people start yeah, asking... Probably. Do we know it would be much easier to stage to this? questions. Because he may not help us if we, we, he's been listening to us plot his murder. We have not been talking about this in his presence, quite obviously. We would never do that. As much as I disagree with this, I think we just need to get... Like, we need to kill him as fast as we can. Yeah. Just go in, get it done, before he can ask any questions, or before we ask him any questions, we just go in. Yeah. Chris, character smothers him maybe all right yep so um okay so just to go over the plan we have tim and forrest setting off an explosion somewhere on the ship probably near the captain's cabin obviously to kill him um and then uh, so for the remaining three of us, we'll presumably be uh, doing drinks with the sailors. So, do you want doing, to have doing drinks? <laughs> doing the drinks, <laughs> doing the drinking of the stuff. Yes, um, I am very eloquent in my speaking of language. Uh, 
so the, the question though more. is do we want alvik to kill the general before any of this gets started and just join us um or do we want him to be killing the general while we're carousing with the other sailors i think just before the explosion goes off okay so then it'll just be me, me and Alaris with the sailors. <laughs> you want him to strangle? You want him to strangle the ca the general right before <laughs> he gets well, exploded? I okay. mean, just in case the explosion doesn't take. I could I could stab too. Well, I mean, we're gonna kill him before the explosion anyway. Like that's not a question. It's just. I, because you're going to end up wanting to prep the cabin or whatever, probably, to make sure it explodes. Which means we want him dead before that even starts. Yeah, so we can put... To help this, too, what we can do is we can put... So, so um, Tim and Forrest will be blowing up some chaser cannons below, presumably below the captain's cabin. We can also take some of those uh, like little barrels of gunpowder that the dwarves used to refer, refill their uh, boomsticks and put them in the captain's cabin and blow those up, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'll and guarantee that there is an explosion in the captain's cabin, even if the one with the cannons doesn't reach that room. Is there a way we could do this where we're all the explosion happens where we're all visible to other? Like if we can delay the explosion just a little bit, so that everyone sees us up above deck or something. Well, they're gonna expect at least two of us to be guarding the door to his quarters. I mean, okay. I think Alvin oh, yeah. counts as two people. No, that's true. So I think we could get away with that pretty easily. Uh, plus we have Hiss, too. So Alvik and Hiss could guard the door. All right. Okay. Okay, so we have a plan. So Alvik and Hiss um, will be basically carrying out the assassination and placing the gunpowder barrels in a place where they'll detonate uh, the captain's quarters in addition to the uh, gunpowder stock below. Tim and Forrest mm -hmm. will take out the chaser cannons below the ship, and then Alaris and I will be distracting the crew with beer. Okay. All right. Best All right. we've got. Uh, separate into your channels whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay. Down 8 VE left your channel and switched to panic room on S. Dot. Red shoe. Red shoe. I think we're down A B E join your you switch to channel red shoe on S dot. Okay. I'm not just out of character here. I'm not the most charismatic character here. Yeah, no, I'll I'll do the talking as much as possible. Um I've got a fair bit of charisma. Let's see, uh, sixteen charisma. Not quite as good as Forrest. I think Forrest has eighteen, but Should hopefully be fine. Stetson yeah. joined your channel. Okay, I'm starting with you guys. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the least violent. I won't have to roll much. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So presumably everyone else is in place. Uh, Chris and or Alvik and. Hiss are standing conspicuously outside the captain's door, acting as guards. Okay. Um, the captain is presumably still like tied up and and or drugged and shot color into submission. And then Alar or Enialis and Tayla are both below deck getting ready to do their thing. So I'm gonna go out or either that or they're sneaking below deck. Uh, after this, I don't know. That'll be up to them. Um, so we're pulling into port, right? Yeah, you guys are docked now. Okay. So Alaris and I um, have the crew, like, what are the crew doing right now? They finished tying everything up and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're tying, they're finishing up, they're, they're finishing up, like, tying stuff up, they're grabbing stuff up and starting to take it, you know, off the deck, off the game. Gangway? Gangway, I think is the term. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we'll come, Lars and I will come out of the captain's quarters and we'll be like, uh, so, hey, uh, the, the general is very pleased with the good work you've done on our trip back. He's 
unfortunately still not quite feeling himself, but he wants to um, express his sincere thanks for the good work you've done. And he has told us to reward you all with uh, a round of drinks from the ship's galley. Oh, well, I, as you know, he's never done that before. Roll a diplomacy check. It's actually going to be persuasion because there's no diplomacy, but... So I'll say, well, yeah, I know he's not the most uh, gracious under normal circumstances, but uh, the uh, the ship's doctor, so the the gnome whose name I've forgotten, who I would actually be Livius. Livius, yes. Uh, so Livius uh, has provided him with uh, some medication that uh, may be, shall we say, tempering his mood a bit. So okay. I would I would take this opportunity uh, since it doesn't come along very often. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Yes. Um. So he he looks slightly unconvinced, but like he doesn't at this point. He's had a long journey. He doesn't really care. Um. So he just kind of nods. Roll both of you. Roll a perception check. Nick? Oh, Nick. both of us. Yeah, yes. sorry. Okay. Uh, Alaris, you don't actually notice this, but Sitali, you do. Uh, you notice that there's a young young dwarf. In fact, he's so young that he doesn't even have a beard yet. Um, takes one look at the two of you and sort of sprints off the ship. Well, shit. Um... Is anyone else like looking at us right now? As or are they all going down to the galley? They're the all looking at you because they're like, we're they're like expecting you to lead them to the drinks. Okay, um, so I'll uh shit. Okay, well, this is gonna be sleight of hand. So I'm gonna. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just make a kind of inquiry here with the dwarves. So, I mean, like, he, uh, so he too young to drink or something? Um, sorry, you're making inquiry of them of what? Like, the crew. other, the other crewmen around here. I'm like, is he about the one that's sprinting off? He's like, is he like afraid of alcohol or something? Uh, they laugh and they're like, ah, oh, no, he's just a, he's just a wee one. He, he scampers about the ship. He's uh, we hardly ever see him because he's he just he hides around the ship sometimes. Shit! Oh, that's probably not good. Um. Okay. Well, in character, probably not much I could do about that right now. So, I'll. Is there? Leave is, so is there something that that I recognize now? That Josh has mentioned it. Am mm, I aware of this door? Not. Yeah, I mean, so you've picked up that Josh is concerned about something, but you're not sure what. Like, you're not sure okay. why he's concerned about this, this okay. dwarf child. Yeah, and I can't really convey that to you while the rest of the crew is watching me, unfortunately. So, right. I'm just gonna have to go with it. Um, yeah, so I'll lead them down, I guess. Okay. Um, there's you start to lead the this crew of rowdy sailors down the gangplank. You um. You're, uh, they start to get more and more rowdy and happy that they're finally free. Um, they start to, or, I mean, they still have to finish up some of their work, so it's not. Yeah, so just be clear, just... We're, we're leading them to the ship's galley, not to, like, a tavern or something. Oh, you're leading them to the ship's galley, yeah. okay. Yeah, so we're getting them drunk on the ship. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, they they finish up their stuff and they start to head down. And they're like, they they wait patiently for you to, I, don't, I guess, 
uncork whatever. Yeah, presumably. I mean, the ship would have some stock of booze because it keeps better than water. Right. So. Um. Yeah. So as you, so you're uncorking one of the, like the ale, ale, ale uh, like yeah. mead casks or whatever. Ale. Um. And I don't actually know what a ship would carry. I assume it would just be ale. Um, Something like that. Yeah. I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> this this be Tim's this, area. <laughs> like rowdy group of. Of, of dwarves, one of them shouts, they're like, we're not getting anything special, we're just getting the shit we drink all the time. Um, shoot. Um, yeah, that's a good point. So, I'll uh, say, uh, <clears throat> well, the captain doesn't have uh, quite enough of this special stuff, so we're going to take the, uh, gonna use uh some of this to get started but we'll be bringing down uh a taste of the captain's special stock uh from the cabin with that a signal a perception persuasion or perception or persuade per 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 yeah. per i am signaling alaris to go up and get the captain's supply as well okay i do that all right so they are not particularly happy with that they're they're starting to get a little bit grumbly. Um, yeah, they're, they're, you're starting to hear murmurs like, well, I thought this was going to be a special occasion. Stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, there's realistically, there's not much else I can do because it's the, yeah. So. Um, as, yeah, as you're talking, um, one of the dwarves shoves another dwarf and then the other dwarf punches that dwarf. Um, and soon, before you know it, there's a small scuffle between a series of dwarves in the center of the, of the, of the, um, of the little party here. You know what? I'm just gonna let this happen, because if a few dwarves knock each other out, that, uh, that works as well as I'm getting drunk, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alaris presumably runs to the captain's quarters, comes back. And uh, as he's coming back, there is a massive brawl happening downstairs now <laughs> in the second in the second layer of the ship. Um, there is there are people punching each other and biting each other and throwing each other against the wall. And Satali <laughs> is just sitting there with her arms crossed. Is there any action you'd like to take? So I actually have the captain's stock now. <laughs> yeah, you have a small you have a small jug of like brandy, essentially. A small jug. <laughs> yeah. And like then, a small a small cask, like a pony cake. Like not enough for everyone. Right. Um. As, so have I seen Alaris come in? I mean, you 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 see him start to come down the stairs. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna say. Since there's not enough to go around, um, and this is a special occasion, uh, how about a contest? The uh, last door of standing get the uh, captain's special stock. They don't hear you. They're still fighting. Okay. Well, then I'll just leave it with that, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just, so, like, I don't know. I just <laughs> turn around. <laughs> Stand at the top of the stairs. Like Donald Glover in that community <laughs> episode, just walking with the pizza and like it's on, it's on fire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Like perfect. I'm really forward. tempted just to pour myself a glasses watch. Oh, sorry. What, Nick? Just motion for Satali to come join me, because I'm sure <laughs> she would be able to just work her way out. No um, problem. Yeah, how many doors are there in and out of the galley? Just out of curiosity. Oh, that's a good point. Um, give me a second to figure out how much a galleon, uh, how many crew in a galleon. Two smaller galleons could be so. I would say about seventy-five dwarves. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering how many doors though are. Oh, doors. Yeah. So it's... basically, I want to know if I can just lock them in here. <laughs> No, so there's it's not a lock system. There's just stairwells coming down to this layer, okay. and there's stairwells so there, going yeah, down to the doors. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just join. Uh... Okay. 
Um, I'm going to join, actually, I'm going to join Alaris, <laughs> and I'm just going to take the, if it's okay, I'm going to take the bottle of brandy, or the keg of brandy, and I'm just going to kind of casually place it on one of the tables, and then okay. walk away. Um, <laughs> if you do, one of the dwarves notices it, and grabs it, and starts to, like, greedily drink from it, before being jumped on by about five other dwarves, and now okay. there is a fo- new focus to the fight. Awesome. This works for me. So I'm just going to sit back with Alaris and watch, I guess. Make sure none of them scamper off. Okay. Okay. This isn't really what we had in mind, but it's still a suitable distraction, so I'm just going to roll with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I think and if you're going to leave it there, I'm going to switch to another channel yeah. unless there's something else you want to do. Yeah, no, this would probably okay. give enough okay. time for them to do whatever they need to do. So go ahead. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch to... <laughs> Stetson left your channel and switched to anti-panic room on s Yeah, that is not how I saw that going. Oh. Yeah, like, honestly... <laughs> uh, I could have had you go after the dwarf, the young dwarf at this point, but it would be too long since he left. You wouldn't be able to find him anyway. Yeah. So. So we get to watch a bar fight. This is only the second one I've caused. <laughs> but one that you are not actively participating in. Yep. the recording while the uh, others are doing their thing. So as you guys are, are watching this brawl unfold, presumably from the safety of the stairwell, mm-hmm. um, roll perception checks, actually. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Okay. Thank God. Okay, so, <laughs> Loris, you notice, like, off to the side of the room... Uh, near the stairwell leading to the floor below, where the cargo and gunpowder is stored. Um, You notice one dwarf throw another dwarf into the wall, but the dwarf never connects with the wall, and suddenly a keg keg of something is materialized as it is dropped to the floor, Um, and then the dwarf, who is angry at the other dwarf for throwing him, picks up this keg and throws it. As he throws it, it shatters... Um, breaks open and you realize it's full of gunpowder. Oh, fuck. Uh, do you point this out to me? I do. I nudge Satali and point in that direction. Um. You also notice the perilously swinging lanterns that are keeping this lit, this uh, layer lit. Fuck. Okay. okay. Uh, so I. Let me see here. Well, give me one second to check my skills. Okay, I'm going to uh, yell for everyone to stop. I'm not actually going to yell that right now because there are other people in this house. Uh, but I am yelling for everyone to stop and... Uh, so just like assume I'm yelling like hold it or something, and then I'm also uh, using my light cantrip to cast, <clears throat> basically try and make a uh, bright light uh, to try and get their attention. Um, yeah. Um. So you're going to try to stop the thing. Uh. Yep. Okay. Um. It does not succeed. They, you have lit something, and no one seems to be paying attention. Oh, let's see. Uh, what else do I have that could potentially stop this? How many lanterns are there? Um, there are. Uh, I would say two, probably. There, I, I imagine there's two main like. Uh... And both of them are direct threats for the gun. No, order. there's one. There's one. There's one near to you, and then there's one on the farther end near the, the uh, other stairwell that is 
um, more of a direct threat to the broken keg of power. Is there any water around? I mean, besides, like, outside the ship? <laughs> no, yeah, there's just, it's outside the ship or in yeah. barrels. Under and the... probably throwing beer on it would not be terribly helpful. <laughs> mm, probably not. Let's see. Um, how, how like, large is the fire in these lanterns? Like, are we talking, like, a candle, or are we talking, like, a, um, like it's torch a, it's style? A little, it's a little gas lantern. Oh, of course it's a gas lantern. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's a little, it's a little gas lantern that like, um, you know, the, the kind you'd find on a, like, uh, it's a hooded lantern as well, so okay. it's not. Is there any way that I'd be able to... Like, jump? I mean, you could probably get there fastest of the two of us. So, like, to I get would... the, to get to the lantern, because at this point, all the gunpowder's out, right? The well, the, so the 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 barrels sort of like cracked and spilled out. It's not like the gunpowder's all over the creation. It's sort of oh. centralized. Yeah, so, can, so if we can move the barrel, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so let's uh, let's try and do that, make our way over there. Um, is like So I assume the entire room is just like filled with brawling doors. We'll have to navigate that. Or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so make make two, make, make both of you make agility checks. Um, so athletics or acrobatics or? Yeah, either one will work. Awesome. Okay, so you guys pretty deftly like dodge most of the brawling dwarves. I'm assuming um, I'm probably just shoving my way through, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Nick is, like, bouncing off their heads and you're just kind of shoving your way through. I imagine. Yeah. Um, so, yes. yeah. You kind of make your way through and over to the, the to the barrel. Yeah, so um, basically you just want to make sure like it's away from the lantern. Uh... Um, and so, is this in, like, towards the bow of the ship or the stern? It's towards the stern. It's towards the back. Shit. Ah. Uh... Well, okay. So, like, theoretically, we would be planning... The reason we are planning doing this here is because this wouldn't be affected by the explosion that Tim and Forrest are causing. So, as long as we can get it out of the way, it shouldn't be set off by the explosion. We just need to make sure that, like... If the explosion knocks the lantern free, it doesn't land on the gunpowder. Okay. Um, so my suggestion would probably be, at least initially, to just kind of shove it under a table or something. Because um, even if the lantern falls and lands on the table, we should be able to put it out before. I mean, especially with 75 doors in here, we should be able to put out the fire before it hits the gunpowder. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um... You guys do that. You guys kind of shove. I just wanted to like it was essentially just to check to see if you could make it over there. Mm -hmm. um, if neither of you critically failed, essentially to like blow the ship up beforehand. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, you successfully sort of move. You're in the middle of a bunch of dwarves though, so yeah, have fun with that. I'm gonna go back to their channel. <laughs> Stetson left your channel and switched to anti panic room on S dot. As you guys are watching the brawl. Uh, you hear a loud boom, and then you realize that, uh, and you are also very much blinded um, by the loud boom. Uh, and well, you're not blinded by the boom itself. Um, you're blinded <laughs> by the explosion. You realize that you may have overestimated the amount of powder you needed to blow up a simple cabin, um, and it has taken out a good portion of the back half of the ship as well. Um, so now there is fire, uh, and flaming. There are flaming dwarves, <laughs> and there are brawling dwarves. Oh god! And it is utter chaos. Are there flaming brawling dwarves? 
<laughs> Asking the important questions, I see. Um, so I'm going to stand there stunned for a second and then just yell abandon ship as loudly as I can. Is there like... So they is... are no longer looking at you. They are scrambling to get the hell off the ship now. Okay, so I don't have to say of... anything. Good. So I join in the scrambling to get the hell off the ship. <laughs> Agreed. Yep. Um, so, like, is... Yeah, okay. Uh, luckily, we're at the... S oh, no, we're not on the stairs. We're at the other side. We're the... Closer yeah, to the you're on the other side of the, the explosion. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so people are scrambling off the ship. Uh, are you guys going to try to meet up with the other guys? Um, presumably, yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead and switch to the same channel then. Okay. Down 8, you switch to channel anti-panic. Stetson joined your channel anti-panic room on S. Duh. So... Nick joined your channel anti-panic room on S. Duh. Yeah, we as, had a great time. Yeah, as, as you guys, as guys <laughs> are... Um, as you guys are sitting there, like, or planning to go downstairs to tell everyone to... To, sh to scatter, a large herd of short men on fire going <laughs> up, this here, uh, up the stairs um, and uh, out, uh, like, onto the deck to get off the ship. Including, presumably, Alaris, Satali, and Elvik. Yeah. Alright, we should probably follow. Yeah, so we're, we're just joining in the struggle to get off the ship right now. Sounds okay, good okay. Abandoned yeah, ship, yeah. women and children first. I'm woman and a halfling, so I count as both. <laughs> <laughs> make uh, make acrobatics or athletics tricks, all of you. God, well, we're in harbor, so hopefully there's help nearby if somebody starts to drown. Oh, good. That oh, was... God. I thought that was my two at first. <laughs> yeah, this counts as a different round, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm okay, gonna... about to full luck again. Does that make me re-roll? Re yeah, you can re-roll. <laughs> God, well, all right, all right, you're, all right, you're not gonna just drown straight up, so... Okay. After three separate... Ugh, I hate you guys. <laughs> okay, so, um, as you're all rushing off the boat, uh, Ennialis actually trips and actually get stampeded by dwarves. Luckily, they're not terribly heavy creatures. Well, they're, they're kind of heavy creatures, but they're tiny. So, um, as they're all shouting and hollering in their weird Scottish dialect that I can't <laughs> really do, um, you you get a little bit stampeded, um, a little bit, so you take five points of damage, um, and uh, you also fall off the ship. Oh, okay. Uh, hopefully you can swim. <laughs> Uh, can I... Deception that I can swim. <laughs> I mean, you'd Try be just... Fool, fool the water. <laughs> you know how to swim. I'm I pretty sure... Water. Like, I think you'd be trying to fool the DM there, and I'm pretty sure the DM rolls 20s against players. Alright, so that'd, that'd be, what, athletics? Yeah. Yes. Because I, I guarantee my character doesn't know how to swim. I, I look for hiss and all the commotion. Okay. You successfully keep your head above water, but not much else. Like, you're kind of sputtering next to a burning ship right now. Um, everyone else who's not Forrest make perception checks. <laughs> to see if we notice Forrest drowning. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't notice you. <laughs> to be fair, half a ship did just explode behind me, so... My ears might still be ringing a bit. All right, is that everyone? Yep. Oh, that is everyone. Okay, so Alvik and Tyler, which direction are you two looking? Uh. All right. So, are you looking towards the harbor and the fleeing dwarves, or towards the ship? I'm probably looking back at the fire because shit's crazy, yo. Okay. Okay. And Alvik, I'm probably looking towards. Sure. Okay. So, Taylor, Just you, do notice, you do notice that uh, Eddie Ellis has not <laughs> only been trampled, but chucked off the ship uh, rather bodily. Um, Alvik, as you look, you notice uh, the city guard approaching with a young dwarf at the front. 
Okay, oh, this will be good. Uh, also, is, is his around in this somewhere? Oh, his oh. is around, yes, but his, but his is, is a completely non agent at this point. Um, um, and Livius. Um, um, Livius is kind of. Kind of he probably trampled me the... too, didn't he? Fuck okay. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I yelled to Alvec. Alaris got knocked into the water. No, any Alice. 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 I'm sorry, any Alice. Sorry. <laughs> Your y'all two names are too close, <laughs> alright? <laughs> I know I'm gonna get them mixed up occasionally. I do. I get them mixed up by many odds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Um, I um, do, I presumably hear that though, right? I I don't know. You rolled a one on your perception. Oh, not sure. <laughs> yeah, so probably not. Okay, so I'm going in the water to save him. What do you want me to roll? Also, I want everybody to note just how blown up I look before we dive in. <laughs> Great. Clearly, I was right next to this explosion. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. so yeah, unfortunately, none of the rest of us know about the city guard approaching. So. He told us that we need to get off the ship. Was he? Did you want him to stand there and spell everything out for us before jumping in to save somebody from drowning? Um, like. Get off this ship is kind of obvious, telling us that the city guard is approaching has completely different connotations. One second, guys. One way or another, we're going to stick out like a sore thumb in a group of Dwarves that are on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not dwarves. And not on fire. Well, except for kind of Tim, I guess. Okay, yeah. so you guys are watching, like, trying to save Aniolis at this point? I guess, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, right. that was probably not terribly yeah. enthusiastic. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you can throw a rope to him if anyone has one. Actually, Actually there's probably I've ropes on that. I've got it. Okay. Make a strength check. Nope. Not great. Okay, so you managed to pull him halfway out of the water before dropping him again. <laughs> uh, and, uh... Why are you fucking kidding me? And again! <laughs> Forrest, take two points of damage. <laughs> from the being waterboarded. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Uh, on the third try, you not only lift him out of the water, but kind of throw the rope over you and uh, bodily throw any else onto the 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 um the dock. onto the dock. Okay, take Be fair, in terms of damage. lifting him, he is still well below my carrying capacity. Yeah, so he's he's uh, he is dazed. Forrest <laughs> is dazed right now. You know, uh, any else is very very much dazed. And I still have no idea that any of this is going on. Just gonna point that out. Still looking at the weird ass fire, dude. Uh, oh, have you guys seen the fire over there? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, is anyone you guys decided in game that you, your characters are ignoring the city guard, right? Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently, we're fine with this. I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, well, I mean, so as, I'm not doing anything about it. Well, I mean, like, it, so you can't meta game and be like, <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, it would totally makes sense that Alvec would be like more concerned about a fire and a drown, like <laughs> saving the drowning guy. Um, as you turn around, you notice that there is a rather large contingent of guards uh, and a small dwarf pointing at the the six of you, eight of you, yes, Livius and and. Uh, Livius and Hiss as well, so. Like, um, are we really still on the exploding ship, or what? No, no you guys dock, are on no. the dock. We're on the dock, okay. Yep, and he's just like, the captain of, the, of this unit, I guess, is the sergeant, um, is like, Halt! Stop, we have questions for you. Yeah, uh, we have questions for you, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He's taken a back. He's like, what? 
what on earth are you doing in this port that you somehow have an environment where the back of a ship can just spontaneously explode? Roll, Roll a persuasion a check. Okay, I'm gonna... One second, I have to, like, look up, uh... <laughs> Basically, second. I'm emphasizing that I'm very displeased with the security here as a guard of the general. Um. So he's he's kind of like taken aback, and he's like, that, uh, he sputters for a second before re regaining his composure, and he like after you mentioned that you're a guard of the general, he seems to have like flickered back to his mind why he's here. Um, instead of trying to defend himself. Um, and he's like, well, that's exactly why I'm here. I, uh, where is the general? Good lady. Uh, say, I, don't I don't know. Why don't you check the part of the ship that just freaking exploded? Um, he's like, well, if you'll just come with me, we'll, uh, we just have to, we have to take you in for questioning while we, while we investigate these things. Response. Like <laughs> <laughs> what my character would say in this situation. say uh, with all due respect uh, captain I'm gonna say captain uh, I'm not going anywhere until I've ascertained whether or not the general is alive um, he's like all right well uh, if you just if you don't mind staying here for a while um, while my lads take a look at the ship uh, we can certainly ascertain whether or not the general's alive I'll be a bit more close with that and agree to those terms. Can we help? And I'll insist that uh, <clears throat> at least some of my guards assist in the search. Considering that it is kind of our job. Actually, can any of us really swim well? I mean, I'm wearing full plate armor. Forrest apparently can't swim at all. <clears throat> so we can't really help much, because he's not going to be in the part of the ship that's not underwater, if any of the ship isn't underwater at this point. Um. Uh, uh sorry about that. Um, so you guys are going to try to swim to safety now? No, we're... So we're trying to convince him to let some of us help with the search. Okay. If anyone wants to. Does anyone actually want to help with the search? In very very practice. Nice. Okay, so... so I clearly just got blown up. Yeah, I did too. And then I got trampled on and then I fell off a bridge. And then... <laughs> nope, ducked okay. me in the water like eight times. <laughs> I could probably do that. Would that be like acrobatics? Um, for swimming acrobatics? In for if swimming? He, if he lets you, it'd be athletics. Yes, it would be mm. athletics to swim. Yeah, otherwise, like we can just stand would, inside and watch the yes. search. But I would offer myself as like a last resort, but I'm no means proficient in swimming. Okay, so okay. I. Yeah, I'll take that in mind and say we are. We'd offer to assist, but unfortunately, not necessary. 
the ones that are cut out for swimming uh, caught the blunt of the expl brunt of the explosion. Okay, so you guys are going to wait with the guard. The contingent of guards that isn't doing the search, so presumably a smaller portion. Okay, yes. So uh, I would say there's about 15 guards, um, and half of them are going to go search the ship. Okay. So, and the captain's going to stay with you, so that leaves about eight. Okay, so... So it leaves about seven, excuse me. Eight. Seven. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Eight. <laughs> I guess. Okay, so how far from the ship are we? Because they're still on the dock next to the burning ship. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Just move and stand on shore. Yeah, there's not much we can do. Um, I'm going to start interrogating the uh i don't know i'm just gonna leave it at that for now i think okay um i need to take a smoke and run and get some water so how about a 10-ish minute break here while i do that yep sounds good the guard sergeant we're wait, facing off wait what well, you're not facing off, you're, okay. but you're face-to-face -face with them. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, okay. Really don't want to fight my way out of the city if we can avoid it. If we oh, can't sure. avoid it, then I'll fight. That's fine. Okay, everyone um, is here though, right? I think. Uh, everyone everyone is... check, check. Ready up. Okay, uh, perfect. Yeah, so you're standing in front of the, the guard and half of, half of his guard. Um, what actions do you take? I'm trying to just judge their reactions. Yeah, I think same. I'd like to know if they okay. like actually suspect us or if they're just trying to figure out what happened with the explosion. Yeah. Roll insight, I think. Okay, so Tali, Alvec, and uh, uh, Esmeralda, Alaris, <laughs> um, you all notice that they're kind of uneasy and their hands are resting on the hilts of their swords, um, but they don't seem to be in a rush to pull them, especially given that there's a large, like, gray man standing in front of them with a with a battle sword. <laughs> so I hand her. Still wish it was Max. Well, they didn't ask us to drop our weapons. So. Yeah. I'll take that as a good sign. Uh, as you are standing there, he's like, I would feel much comfortable, much more comfortable if God you were to drop your, drop your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to say I'm sorry, but until we know whether or not the general is still alive, we're still actively his guards, and we cannot do that. All right. What are you What are you guys um, worried about? Well, Be you try staring out of down. character, being found out for murdering this. No, guy. no, no. no, no sorry, I was sorry. talking to the guards. Oh, I see. Carry on. <laughs> I mean, I think they're probably worried about the fact that a ship just exploded in their port. Uh, so you 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 ask them what they're worried about. Um. So somehow that question actually seems to put them back on edge, um, and they're gripping, they're actually actively gripping the swords with their non-sword arms now, um, if it makes sense. Uh, so like, uh... they tighten their grip on their, their, their sword handles. Um, All right, don't tell me. <laughs> but yeah, so they, um, they look like they are... Uh, and the, the sergeant turns on and is like, um, well, you try staring down a group of armed people who are um, convict who are um, suspects in a murder. 
I mean, I'm staring down a group of armed people who suspect, who apparently suspect us of murder, so... Yeah, so... Why would we, why would we murder the general in port when we could have done it in the middle on the other continent? That doesn't really make any sense. Oh my god, my We could have done a better job is not, not the best excuse. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Oh my know. god. He actually seems slightly convinced by this, because apparently he's a, not a very bright individual. Uh, Sorry, and, you guys, I don't have real high wisdom. Yeah, so <laughs> he of kind of, like, puts his, he kind of motions for his men to put their, their arms down. <laughs> oh, that's not a fortune. <laughs> So, how about uh, that local sports team? <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are sitting there, um, a, uh... Can we go check on the captain dwarves? Gonna guess no, considering yeah. we're under guard. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> as you guys are talking, um, a second explosion rocks the ship. This time, destroying a much larger portion. Oh. Uh... So seemingly located magazine. roll for shrapnel um, um somehow oh, God damn it, Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> seemingly uh from the center of the ship approximately where the dwarves were brawling before uh -oh. um which sets off a yet third explosion which actually blows most of the ship out of the water okay so to reach the gunpowder that was in the galley uh and then that detonated the magazine Oh, that makes sense. I thought I thought it was Which we earlier. know nothing about. Uh, everyone make acrobatics checks. <laughs> God damn it, first. <laughs> Would this be a reflex save? Or, or yeah, pardon me, reflex save, not acrobatics check. Uh, where are those? Oh, Between proficiency bonus and your skills. Oh, so it'd be dexterity. Yes. Hey, even better. Awesome. Okay, well, my acrobatics is dexterity, so can I just keep the same roll? Yes. Yeah. I mean, my acrobatics and dexterity bonuses are the same, so dexterity yep, yep. save bonuses. Is yourself. Okay. okay. Um. So right. yeah, you guys. Um. You guys. <laughs> you guys are rocked as like part of the dock is taken with the explosion. Um, oh, great. And uh, flung in every which direction. Uh, any all this. <laughs> Going back in the water, my friend. <laughs> uh, but you're not taking damage this time. Um, you are the only one that has to make an athletics check. No. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately begin to drown. Man, would you just okay, throw I, a one I, so I can let you reroll? I throw, I throw a my rope after him. Okay. Uh, I would. I'm only giving you that because you actually rolled a twenty. Um, so yeah, make a. Another dexterity save, any of us. And you can make a dexterity check as well, Satelli, to try to accurately. Oh my god! <laughs> Full luck, reroll. <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? Should I even bother rolling? Yeah, make a dexterity check. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Forest is now under the water. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start rolling 1d4. Athletics, jump in and save him. I mean, you're in the water with him, so. Wait, what? Yeah. You're all in the water. Like, the shit, the, there is no dock anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then where is Josh throwing the oh. rope Can from? I just yeah. He's, to get his no, he's, water? he's throwing the, the rope from himself, presumably. That's what it is. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, well, I was assuming yeah, we were still on the dock because you said Forrest was the only one who went in the water. Yes. Um. Yep. Yeah. No, no, you're all you're all in the water. Um, I just, I just figured you were trying, trying to trying to pull him to yourself or something, but but yeah, no, yeah. I would have just I would... grabbed him if that was the case. Can I uh swim to the dock? Oh, there's no dock left. Well, there's well, presumably okay. some. There's the the shoreline is still too. there somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. no, you can. <laughs> the city was just. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. 
You can swim to the shoreline, yes. Uh, Is it close no enough one... that somebody would be able to toss the rope to me if we need to haul him in? No. You guys, you guys are at the end of the Really? Range. It's more than 50 feet away? Oh. Why I'm 50 feet of rope. rope. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. okay fine, so fine. toss me yeah. the rope and I'll swim it into shore. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm yeah, actually... I shore. Yeah, I'm just gonna toss you the rope here. No, you're, you're drowning. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll just give Tim part of the rope because he's presumably still close to me and then he can swim to shore with okay. it. Did you want me to take those two damage, Stetson? Yeah, yes. you're taking two damage. And you're gonna take more okay. damage if they fail to, to secure the rope around. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait. Didn't, can't they just grab him to get his head above the water? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think no, that's, you, that's what you're yeah, trying to do right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you you succeed in grabbing him, make a strength check to pull him up. Or an athletics check to pull him up, excuse me. Not a strength check. Oh, athletics. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Forrest is going to die of drowning. <laughs> <laughs> One damage. <laughs> Can I see the shore? Okay, there we so, go. No, you're only, drowning. Sorry. Not only do you like pull him up, but you like also as you're pulling him up, like jerk him so that all the water in his lungs come out. I don't know. Like, oh, that's really <laughs> mean. yeah. So you've taken three damage, but you're now safely snuggled in the arms of Nope. Oh, thank you, Nope. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, you guys make a very cute couple. Um, but you uh. All should probably try to make it to shore. Okay, so that would just be athletics checks, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'll make you rolling at a disadvantage. Okay, I'm basically <laughs> looking to see if anyone rolls at a, at, a, at a one. You're not rolling anything, any else. You're basically unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> You've been through hell right now. <laughs> but we're all rolling? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we only need to swim to shore. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, everyone makes it to shore. Like, the only, like, since since Tim was swimming with the rope, like, unless you guys had rolled below a five, I would have, like, you guys all make it. Um, barely make, like, apparently none of you can swim, so I'm going to avoid the sea. In my defense, um, I'm wearing chainmail, so. Yeah. So, you guys are on the shore now um and you don't see hide nor hair of the the captain of the guard or anyone um you're not sure if they've swum they've swum if they have swum uh back to shore where they are you're basically just drowned and uh any else presumably is not in a good way right now i don't know how much i actually have more than half of my hp left okay um so yeah dazed but not dead by any means um yeah okay but we don't see the guard anywhere you don't see the guards anywhere let's, let's go yeah let's get out of here <laughs> okay uh, have any do any of us know the layout of the city like have any of us been here before uh i'm guessing that probably be Taella or any of us if anyone would you I guess, like, out of character, would either of you like to be from this location? It's not something we, like, really discussed, but I'm not against the idea. Well, the city in my background is still listed as some placeholder, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hung out in the A city. For... Yeah. At least well... a year. <laughs> Up to one year. Or... Sorry. Sorry, just go ahead. Sure, I will be from whatever this place is. <laughs> the Saria? Yes. Uh, okay, How do you okay. spell that? Uh, T-H-E-S-S-A-R-I-A. -S I hadn't really considered that, um, but it's a large city and it does make sense, I guess. All right, Tim. Um, right, so how do you, like, discuss amongst yourselves what you'd like to do next? Um, so, so, well, I'm sure I know of a generic inn slash tavern slash place where we could be safe for a while. 
We should yep. go a little farther <laughs> than right here, though, because if they, they notice we're missing, they may look for close ends. Yeah, so it's a it's a big enough city, so we can maybe get one like nearish the city gates, like not the closest one to the gates, but one. As long as I don't have to walk close by. I got you, Forest. I know of a place like that, Stinson. Idea. Um. Yeah. Give me one second here. <laughs> I have to name it first. <laughs> citizens of this city are surprised as an end materializes out of nowhere. <laughs> no, it's clearly always been there. I remember it from when I clearly grew up here. <laughs> uh, Tim, we'll talk about this. Um, we will... Man, I don't know how I'm going to do XP for this because I didn't think I could like, <laughs> get <laughs> one combat. I'm just realizing this now. Um... <laughs> This is going to be the least... We spent the entire session getting off a ship. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, there was... We spent, like, like Does close stuff to happened, interest. but still... <laughs> it's a good thing Stetson didn't have a whole lot. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like, I didn't... I pur purposely didn't prepare much, um, but I think next time I'm just going to force you guys into at least one fight so it's easier for me to figure out XP. <laughs> That's uh, fair. How much XP is a ship worth? <laughs> <laughs> that still only counts as one! <laughs> ah, you can click on the titles of okay, things so, um, in your, your class features to shrink them. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming up with place na I'm coming up with fantasy names. One second. And theoretically, if the we also get credit for the general and however many guards died in the subsequent explosions. Uh, uh, fair, sure. fair. I mean, I'm, I'm like, not sure if it counts. It was an so, so that's how that's how quests in like Dragon Age or something work, right? Like you don't get less you don't get less experience for not killing people. Right. Um, um, you get the, you get same, the experience. same experience. I mean, not necessarily the exact same, but you don't just miss experience. But yeah. 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 No okay. Okay. I also didn't expect you guys to blow up a fucking ship. I thought this was going to be more of a stealth mission thing. Um, you did too. Okay. <laughs> and you've managed to kill the one character that I don't remember the name of, so this is, this is I guess, worked out. Um, okay, so... Every conversation from here on out, we need to work his name in. <laughs> mm, Sorry, mm. carry on. Uh, yes. Let's raise a toast to the general. What was his so, name? No. <laughs> The the inn that you would frequent as as a young youngling, a young halfling, a half a half young quarterling, <laughs> a quarterling, <laughs> um, was the Varelli, uh, Varelli, Varelli, yes, B A R E L I, um, Varelli, I think actually, uh, and uh, it was run by a very, um. Scary woman by the name of Iliope. Okay. And, and so, so, oh, sorry, how do you spell that? Uh, which one? The lady's name. Oh yeah, uh, Iliope. I L I. Uh, Ili Iliope, I guess. Uh, I'm just. I'm just using, like, okay. Names. Um, I, I, I L I O P E. I L I O P E. I'm just using random, random, random like, Let's find names. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, that's where you're gonna head? I... Did she then... I mean, you said she's scary. Did she, she like me? I didn't get any bad <laughs> yes, side yes. or anything. Okay. Yes. We will head there. Okay. okay. Uh, so yeah, as you walk in, um, or as you, you run through the slums, I guess, like, through the the she seedier seedier parts of town um yeah as you run through the seedier parts of town you finally come across um a small very dingy very dirty um little place called the Varili, um with a circular door uh and let yourselves in um 
uh, and as you enter, a large woman, big burly arms, um, and a scowl that could, you know, break glass, um, turns to, to face all of you. And, um, and upon seeing Tim's face, or excuse me, upon seeing Tayola's face, her face lights up, and she steps out from across the bar and uh, envelops you, um, picks you up. She's like seven foot tall or something, I'm imagining. <laughs> um, Elvik, it's your new wife. <laughs> this is going to uh, be a Moz and Chewy relationship, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's like, "You've survived. I haven't seen you. Where have you been?" Uh, hey, Eliop. Yeah, I got breast ganged. Can you help me down? She lets you down, and uh, she be immediately begins a beer and, and like coolly like slides it down the bar to you because I think that's I, I like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I've... I have very little idea of what is cool in bars, but that sounds cool to me. So I guess. Yes, yes. I, I say, man, you have no idea how glad I am to see you. Uh, yeah. And so she looks around and she's like, what are these ruffians doing here? Um, and who is this, this, this fine, uh, who's this fine friend of yours? And she turns to this and she's like, sit down, dear, sit down. Um, completely ignoring the rest of you. I have no... <laughs> I, I take a seat. Uh, Glad these were her. Uh, people who were press ganged with me, and we've sort of been watching out for each other. Uh, well, any friend of 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 Tails is a friend of mine. Um, I assume the rest of you will be paying for your beer. <laughs> Turns to face the rest of you. I have gold or copper. Yep. I have copper. Um, I have copper. Yep. So she she sort of. Solemnly nods and then pours you all beer, and that's pretty much like where I'd plan to stop. I didn't, so I'm gonna have to let me do some calculations here. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna give you the, the disruptive experience, experience for the for what you murdered um, in cold blood, basically. What was that, Tim? <laughs> in cold blood would just be the general. I said, uh, <clears throat> let me disrail your storyline a little. No, I like it. I like it. Um, I am I am going to try to figure out... I'm going to... I think, like, I like this idea of you guys sort of, like, doing your own... Like, making your own decisions. And then I just need to, like, come up with more encounters that could possibly happen. And then just pick from a bag, essentially. Oh, that, way, that way I guarantee that you get experience. Um... We got some idea of going to a bar uh, to plan our next moves eventually. Yeah. <laughs> um. So let me do some calculations. This isn't gonna help, or is it? Oh, actually, I know what to do. Did you find a experience bar for the ship? So I found a uh, encounter generator. That's what I'm looking for. Um, a goblinist. So you're all level four, right? Yeah. We all have 2,700 XP, right? Yep. I have 27,000. Is that not right, right? Uh, I mean, depends. Are you level 7? No, I'm like... So, so I'm gonna give you guys 1,200 experience. Okay. Yes, that is for you to spend. Twelve hundred experience. It shouldn't level you up, I don't think. But no, no sixty-five hundred is our next point. Okay, for leveling. All right. Um, I 
am going to go hang out with my lady friend a little bit more um, <laughs> because she's still here. I want to make sure, but then um, once I make sure she gets home, uh, I will probably be back on later. Okay. So, right. next week.